AutoCAD allows the user to work with multiple drawings at the same time. To show you how this works, let me open another drawing. Now go to View tab in Windows Ribbon and select Tile Vertically option. This will tile the two open drawings vertically side by side. This option facilitates copying objects from one drawing to another at the same time. To copy an object from one drawing to another, select the object that you want to copy, left click and drag the entity towards the right and release the click. This will make a copy of the selected object in the other drawing. This option can be very useful while dealing with drawings of same kind. To view the list of currently open drawings, you can use the switch window button. Never forget to save your drawing. To save a drawing, you can use the save icon on the quick access toolbar. If you want to access more options, you can use the save as command in the quick access toolbar. AutoCAD provides a wide range of saving formats like .dwg, .dxf and .dwt. By default, AutoCAD uses .dwg extension. A .dxf format can be used if you want to export your drawing to some other softwares like StatPro and eTabs. If you are dealing with a civil engineering drawing, it may consist of title blocks, your company logos and measurement scale labels. And AutoCAD templates can be used to predefine your title block. Let me open my template. I have defined three layouts with three page sizes for printing. And I have already drawn the title blocks for my drawing. So next time I create a drawing, I can directly start from these layouts. So I don't have to draw a title block every time I create a drawing. An AutoCAD template is none other than a simple drawing except it's saved with .dwt extension. So if you want to create a template, just save it with dwt extension. Let the circle be my company logo. And I'm drawing a rectangle as a title block. If I want to save this as a template, I can go to Save As option, select AutoCAD Drawing Template, type in a name for your template, and click Save. You can select the measurement options. I'll select Metric Units and click OK. So next time you create a drawing, if you want to start from this drawing, click on the New Drawing icon and select your template and click Open. We will learn how to create layout based templates later. AutoCAD also provides an option to set your default template. So every time you create a new drawing, you don't have to select your template. To set a template as a default template, go to AutoCAD options. In file tab, go to template settings. Now browse your default template. Since we will be drawing in metric units, select AutoCAD ISO.DWT or ACAD ISO.DWT. If you are using English units, select ACAD.DWT. Click Open. Now next time you click on New Drawing button, AutoCAD will automatically select ACAD ISO.DWT as template and it will set units as metric units as the measurement unit. Let me wind up with this. Further, we learn advanced zooming and other functions while working with our drawing. In next session, we learn drawing fundamentals, drawing basic geometry and how to set modes in AutoCAD. Thank you for watching the video. For updates, subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials, visit www.civildigital.com. Thank you.